Here's a quick video that shows you how to integrate material properties between Onshape and SimSolid. Okay, if I want to integrate the material properties, the first thing I have to do is go to my settings form, my account preferences, scroll to the bottom, and make sure I've added a custom material library called SimSolid Materials. To add it, just pick the Add Material Library button, look for the, the file SimSolid Materials, it's a public document, pick on that, add it. And once you do, all the SimSolid materials will be available inside of Onshape. Okay, now so the materials are available. To apply them, you do the following. Let's just go and look at a part file. Uh, let's just pick this one, for example. And uh, just pick the part, right-click, assign material. And now you'll see that this SimSolid materials library is there, as well as the Onshape material library. Pick that. Pick the material property you want apply it. And once you do, this material property will now be transferred from Onshape into SimSolid automatically. So let's see how that's done. So let's go back here. Let's go to SimSolid Cloud. Let's create a new project. Let's bring in that assembly. And it'll bring in just a moment, not only the geometry, but all the material definitions. So you see exactly the same material definitions that were in the uh, were in the assembly. Aluminum, ABS, plastic, steel, uh, even stainless steel for these uh, these uh, standard content parts. It's all brought into some solid. Best of all, as something changes or updates, uh, you don't have to reassign the material properties. Now, the way this works is the material property name is compared and the name that's in, in Onshape is compared to the name in SimSolid. So as long as the name's correct, uh, it, will it will assign the SimSolid material properties. Uh, a little bit of a subtlety there is if you look at um, standard content, they have their own material names, uh, stainless steel, steel 18.8, 304, etc. These may not be in the standard SimSolid materials property uh, database, but you can add it. So the way you add it, you go back to SimSolid, you would go to um, Materials under our settings form, and then you can see that you can make any type of custom material you want. So I've added, for example, I can come in here, look at titanium, for example, I can copy this to this on shape material property, I can edit that uh, rename it to say something like titanium uh, grade 5 and if that name is exactly the same as what's in on shape it will assign these material properties so you can create custom material properties and then assign them okay that's it material property integration between on shape and sim solid thanks for watching